Greetings guys, a warm welcome to you all, welcome to any new subscribers as well. This is December 2019 Global Predictions, the end of the year and marching into the new decade 2020. We will be using these two decks of cards, this is an oracle deck but it's an energy oracle deck and this of course is the side deck that we have been using for some time now. So this is the very last of the predictive global psychic intuitive collective conscious readings for 2019. We will start with this deck and we will shuffle and see what is coming out for us. Ooh. Rest and rejuvenation has arrived from this deck so we'll we'll feel our way into the cards and the messages that are coming i haven't used this deck before but i thought it was time to change things around as we embark on the end of this long decade a long fast and furious decade and move into the new one so 19 9 and 1 is 10 which adds to a 1 so new beginnings envy a little bit dark maybe um, these two as well the temple path and door to spirit okay so these are a little bit different to interpret for the global predictions as I say they're new that we're using so I think we'll work on the energy of predicting those as we pull the side and see what's coming from the side deck so this is for December for 2019. What is it that collective conscious energies are forming around the planet? What is the mood of the people on the planet? Where are things headed for the end of 2019? There's a lot of spirituality in these two cards down here. And it kind of makes sense given that we're moving into the Sagittarius realm, which is a very spiritual uh, zodiac sign and of course we're coming into the religious festive season of Christmas and the Christed white energy so I think we've just also come out of the portal way of the Scorpio energy which is very close to spiritual cusp so there could still be a lot of this energy around it could also mean that there could be a lot of people moving into the spirit world so this could mean perhaps unexpected deaths uh, for people at global awareness level the temple path is sort of an awakening an epiphany an awareness a rising of the energies like a mass rising we've seen this a little bit with the climate change activists we've also seen it with the Hong Kong changing um, but we come up to this darker one up here of envy. We've kind of got one, two, three, and then five. So we're missing a four. Let's see what's coming from the Psy cards. This is for December 2019. Okay. The work, the union. And the union and the temple path could be considered similar energies. The puzzle doesn't come out often, as you know. Uh, liberation. Birth. And fortune, which I think was in last month. And we'll do one more for providence. It might or not, might not be providence. And it's the home. But I'll put that there. Okay, moving into the side deck with the work card. The work and the puzzle together are very interesting. The puzzle is always interesting when it comes out because it's a puzzle to us, it's an enigma. We aren't quite sure what its destiny is, we're not quite sure what it's necessarily pointing out. It tends to need to be viewed that way, it's got hidden doors. So these are, there's someone holding the key there and it looks like a royal person or a priest type person and they're holding the key to the doors. You can either choose one or the other door perhaps. So there's an option here, there's a pathway. One door may lead you down a certain pathway and one 
other door may lead you down a whole new alternate dimension or existence. So the puzzle card tells us that there is something that is on the cusp of change but we don't necessarily know what it is and it's still taking shape, it's still forming in the ethos, in the cosmos, in the minds of the humans on the planet who are creating the puzzle. I'm thinking that this could have a lot to do with some of the political agendas that are going on at the moment. There's the Brexit elections in December and there are literally two op options for them. Do they go with the Brexit or do they stay in the EU? And that is a puzzle that I don't think is resolved as of yet. They do seem to have two options with which political party they will pick. There's also possibility here that the monarchy is also involved or in a, it's in a convoluted situation at the moment with the whole Prince Andrew saga. We're just finding out now that he's been embroiled in financial implications with some big families that have been offshore banking and hiding funds. So there's fraudulent activity, there's financial misdemeanor, there's the pedophilia issues. So I think the monarchy are also going through a puzzling time of what to do uh, stay in this direction or take this new direction. The puzzle will also relate to other things unknown to us and quite often I think of this as being the bigger cosmic picture in life. So possibly celestial events or space adventures or unknown things that are about to evolve or open or take place or take shape. And this can be referring to space technology, space travel, information about space, possibly information about extraterrestrials or life on other planets, things along those lines as well. It will also be in part to do with climate change. I often think of Canada as well. This looks like a maple leaf down here, but I'm not sure if Canada is implicated when the card comes out. I've never quite fully uh, decided on that one but the trees look ominous thick and sort of as if they hold a message as if the trees hold a message as to what the puzzle is but given that it's on by the work card which is where I should have started the work card is often about timing or timing anomalies this looks like the internal structures of a clock so there's something to do with time at this point that's happening and of course we are moving into this new decade and I feel the 2020s are going to hyper jump us into a new trajectory of life that we have yet to fully understand. If you watch my 2020 full predictions it'll give you an idea of what I believe is happening both at the climate uh, spectrum the human spectrum, the space spectrum, we're on the tipping point of merging into another type of lifestyle. And within the decade of the 20s, by the time we get towards the end of the 20s, it will be fully immersed. The work card can also represent big vehicles such as boats, buses, trains, things that have big engines that make them work. Uh, there can be issues to do with them. It can also represent planes as well. So sometimes this can be a, an unusual number of emergency issues with these vehicles or something going wrong with their engines one way or another. But timing anomalies are quite heightened when the work card turns up. So, and there can also be events like the Mandela issues can crop up again. We can see time portals or unusual events like that occurring. It might be that the time, the, the timing is also linked somehow to the door to spirit. This opening of the veils, the passing between both realms, uh, the thinning of the veils, there could be something along those lines as well. You know, this door to spirit and the temple path could even be suggestive. There's a lot of talk, you know, a lot of the Christian people believe that Christ is meant to come back into this world one way or another towards the end times and the end days. Both of these heightened examples of spiritual activity could indicate something around religion or spiritual philosophies or an awakening or an epiphany or a climax of some sort involved in energies around the planet that, that relate to this kind of spiritual 
energetic vibration. Moving to the Union card, this card is not, well, if we were taking it in light of this, this is the Union and this is the Chalice Cup. So we could say there is some sort of spiritual energy that surrounds the planet. And again, it makes sense because we're coming into the Christmas zone, we're coming into the uh, Christ energy around the planet, as well as the daughter spirit is open. So these three could be talking to each other. And the temple path is the heightened awareness of the spiritual evolution of the soul. But traditionally in my readings with the Psy cards, I kind of reverse the meanings, if you like. So if I'm reversing the meanings of the Psy card, then technically I should be reversing the meanings of these in many ways, which could mean that there is a lot of religious activity, but it might not be good activity. There could be a raised awareness or a, ways, a raised creativity or activation in terms of terrorism. Now, on the weekend just been, as it merged into December, there was the London Bridge lunatic that attacked people with a knife and then there were some people in the Hague that were attacked and killed as well. So that were two that was two terrorist activities like that. Boom. So I think we may see more of that type of action. But coming back to how I traditionally read the Union card, it's much more weather related and I look at the water and the rocks. I see surging, massing water accumulating together. Oftentimes things like rivers that run through towns and flood and cause massive mudslides or landslides, uh, inland tsunami type activity, and that's usually accompanied by mass rain to create this event. Sometimes it can be a dam that has imploded or broken its walls as well. So the Union card often means that, and right next to it sits the Birth card, sharing the same colour palette of the green and blue. And in the background on this card, we see this really heavy looking sky full of water. And the water's come down onto this plant that is uh, growing into a new form. So again, this is two indicators of really, really heavy, heavy rainstorms which could be around, that create these massive floods and flooding villages and little townships, older ones quite often. So somewhere up in the northern hemisphere this can be an issue, but at the same time we also have down here with more flooding waters and people running and fleeing and also nature being affected. This is often Australian type energy. So Australia may be in for some wild floods which Sydney had last week, one of their most bizarre three minute super storms, uh, as well as the fires that Australia could be in for. But this indicates weather and severe weather and lots of wet weather. It also indicates potential activity in terms of volcanic activity. This looks like a mountain that could be starting to erupt. So volcanic activity may be increased. Uh, it can also be earthquakes pushing up land, making new land shapes. And it can also be crops that are affected, either damaged through natural um, causes or even by man-made causes such as the Amazon fires were doing a few months ago. So they herald quite a lot of uh, energy around weather related. So I've shuffled all the cards around, I can't remember quite how they were, but we come down to Fortune now, which was here last month, and we see this man crawling up the stairs with a lantern towards a treasure chest at the top. So this often means money, and it could be talking about the share markets globally. It can be talking about the cash markets. It can also be talking about oil and gold, things that have come from underground and coming up. There may be new oil found, or oil may go up a little bit in price. Gold and silver might have something in the month of December that creates uh, movement or bringing their name into the uh, news one way or another. There may be some archaeological find where there is uh, like a historical treasure chest that has been found or artifacts or information pertaining to how we've lived in the past. That could be coming again. 
monetary wise and share market wise I tend to think it goes it'll go up and down for December there could be some turbulence involved there could be quite a bit of movement and the, so I don't think the money market will stay flat in December I think it's there's going to be some up and down movements overall I'm not entirely sure that it's wonderful news it might peg itself out okay towards the end this can also be representative of hunkering down uh, tornadoes because that is symbolic of the shape of a tornado. I'm not sure if it's still tornado season in America but there might be some large ones that people experience and the need to hunker down. We come to this one, the liberation card and this is also very symbolic of fleeing things, running away from something. And if you notice we've got a door here and a key that's been opened and we started the reading off with the door and the key, wondering where this might lead us to. So someone opens the door to one of these paradoxes or new paradigms in December. So something is opened and there is a fleeing. I wonder if we could say this could be partly to do with Brexit as well, that the, they maybe they do flee. So maybe Boris Johnson gets in and as he said, he will be out of the EU by, I think it is the 31st of January or something. So maybe that's one of the doors, the puzzle card opens and creates this fleeing, which creates quite discombobulated energy around. Some people will leave, there will be leaving energies, leaving something behind, moving out in a hurry, uh, feeling as though there is a freedom escaping from something as well. I also do look at this card and take Australia into consideration. Sometimes it can be weather patterns, but because of the home card in the reading, which is relevant to where I live, meaning New Zealand, or my neighbours, which are Australia and the Pacific Islands, these things can be affected and one of them is fires so I think the fires will still be pretty strong and full-on for Australia we know that we are moving into an incredibly hot summer and they have a very very dangerous fire situation at the moment animals may also be in uh, trouble either in and around New Zealand the islands or Australia as well and homes will be affected for New Zealand this this card represents similar things fires and we do have quite a dry fire season because we're getting all the heat from the continent of Australia over to our set of islands so we are also very warm and dry with a high fire risk as well animals I'm not sure what the indication is for them at this point but we do definitely see the sense of moving of fleeing of panic of moving out of something in a hurry sometimes this card can represent shaking and quakes as well and that can more likely be for New Zealand or the island areas so that is the December reading everyone the puzzle has now moved itself auspiciously to the side over here almost heralding some sort of uh, onus over the whole reading as if he's putting energy into all of these cards one way or another and I guess the only card we really haven't addressed much is the rest and rejuvenation this this card could represent bodily issues and at the moment Samoa uh, in the most horrendous of situations with the measles outbreak to date there have been over 44 people killed most of them very very young children if not babies and the measles affects the thorax in, in particular very very badly the thorax and actually it can go over the whole body and rest and rejuvenation might be the thing that is coming through for a lot of them they need uh, they need some sort of major help in Samoa their population is being struck and they're not yet through the thick of it it is still a growing issue at this point so there we are everyone please add your comments for the December reading and see what you feel about all these cards what they could mean I guess I haven't really looked at envy either I'm sorry about that I have jumped the queue Envy looks to be in the older parts of the globe. 
up in you know the northern hemisphere perhaps through Europe or perhaps through towards the Middle East and envy as we know unsettles everything it's it's the negative energies that abound so when you are in envy you also host all the other negatives such as anger bitterness animosity hate jealousy which is what envy is and those can get away and cause negative vibrations for so many different things it looks like well, she's a woman of and she's living in a fairly opulent place whether there's envy directed at someone like this meaning maybe a royal family or a royal person uh, or whether there's envy from those people about wishing they weren't in the position they were currently in. Again, this is a card that needs a much deeper interpretation. But thanks everyone for listening and tuning in. That is the last one for the year. I am going to do a January one as well and I will be doing it soon. So thanks for joining the journey throughout this last part of the decade that I've been doing these Psy readings. They're usually pretty accurate and I do love hearing your interpretation as well. So take care everyone, have a wonderful December and be ready to see in this new decade on New Year's Eve. Much love, namaste.